The views expressed and the opinions given by the individual host and their guests do not necessarily reflect those of Para-X, its affiliates, or its sponsors. It's coming. All these voices. They're not yours. You had no right to them when you were alive, and you have no right to them when you're dead. These singers. That's what it sounded like. Good, you know who I am. And then you know I'm not playing. You're going to let those women go. In Jesus' name, you're going to let those women go. Even here watching this right now? Watching this right now. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Staring into the Abyss. I am your host, horror author James Hershey Jr. And with me as always, my co-host, old boy James Ash. How you doing, brother? What's up, Misfit Chigalays Monster Lovers? It's old boy. How's your night going? Tonight's episode is different. It's, it should be a, an interesting episode. Tonight's episode is going to be about a report that was seen on CNN, on Fox, on NBC... Countless articles written about it. It's kind of been everywhere. And it's it has to do with Taylor Swift. And some of the people that went to her concerts. So apparently, you've had multiple people, like a lot of people that went to these concerts, that have come out and said that they have no memory of the concert whatsoever. Like they went there, they remember going, and the concert starting... And then they don't remember anything that happened afterwards until they were, like, leaving going home. And it's more than one person, and those people weren't together. Okay, that's important to, to know and to remember as we go through this. Because if it was just one group of people that all kind of came together or sat together or whatever like that, you might think, well, it's just a hoax. It's just BS. That these people all kind of conspired together to come up with this story to get some attention. But it's multiple people sitting in multiple areas that don't know each other. Another important thing to remember about this is that it wasn't everybody that was at the concert. So you had this group of people that say they don't remember anything. And they remember feeling like kind of almost drugged in a way. They feel like like they're missing time and they have this euphoric feeling and this just kind of sleepy, kind of dopey feeling. And then you have a bunch of other people that were at the concert that it was just a normal concert for them. They have no memory of anything weird happening. They remember the whole concert. And it was just another day to them going to the concert. That's also important because that means that whatever happened here, it wasn't everybody that was affected. It was only a small amount of people. So in a lot of these videos that people have been making and probably what the title of this video will be, because it's the question we're trying to answer tonight. The title that everybody's been kind of using and what everybody's been saying is that Taylor Swift has been casting spells on her fans at her concerts and that that's why they don't remember what happened there. Uh, the news was trying to explain it away as that they were having such a good time that they kind of got amnesia. And that's why they don't remember the concert. I think that's absolute BS. I don't think that's a thing. I think it's something that they're making up. But what do you expect, man? It's the news. They, they lie all the damn time about everything. Even dumb stuff like this. So I, I discount pretty much anything they say on principle. You know what I'm saying? But especially in this case, it just doesn't make any damn sense. So our options here are that Something happened to these people that made them lose time and made them not remember. Or they're lying. Okay, to assume they're lying, you'd have to assume some sort of conspiracy taking place between them. Because otherwise, how would they have the same story? How would they know what the other guys were going to say? You see what I'm saying? So they had to somehow get together and and decide what their story was going to be prior to going public with it, which also seems rather unlikely. So then what happened here? Was it Taylor Swift casting spells on her audience 
or was it something else that took place? There's no way to really know 100% for certain what the answer to that question is. But we can speculate a little bit. We can make informed, educated guesses based on the evidence. So that's what we'll try to do tonight. And I know that for those of you who are not into the more out there stuff, I understand that this sounds crazy. Okay? That is not lost on me whatsoever. I know that this sounds nuts. But a lot of stuff that we deal with here on Staring sounds pretty crazy. But we always try to go through it and give you the information, give you an evidence-based show that you can kind of determine for yourself what you think. I mean, we'll let you know what we think as well, but that way you have all of the info and you can decide for yourself. So, is Taylor Swift the kind of person who might cast spells? Okay, that's a legitimate question to ask. If we're going to speculate that she might be casting spells on the audience, then first we have to decide, is she the kind of person that would cast spells? Well, in interviews, uh, she has said that she is a Christian. Also, in some of her videos and some of the lyrics to her songs, aren't very Christian-like. Okay, there's one song called, I think it's called Karma or something like that. And one line in that song is that karma is a god. Okay, that's not a, a Christian thing to say. First of all, karma is not a Christian concept. Karma is a new age spirituality concept. It is not Christian. It does not come from the Bible. So, first of all, to, to be believing in karma and, and espousing that that karma is a thing and that it is such a thing that it's a god, right? That's not a, a Christian sentiment whatsoever. That is, at best, a New Age spirituality sentiment. At worst, it could be a, a Wiccan witchcraft, uh, satanic kind of thing. Could be. Not saying it is, okay? If you believe in karma, it doesn't mean you're a Satanist. That's not what I'm saying. Calm the hell down. So... There's that. Um, as a matter of fact, let's let's take a look really quickly at some of her videos. Now, I'm not going to play the videos because we're on the radio and stuff, and I don't want anybody to get in trouble for it. I don't want anybody to have to pay out moolah, you know, in royalties to Taylor Swift because we used her music or anything like that. But what I will do is I will take some screenshots of some of her music videos and... I will play those or show those on the on the show for you that are watching on YouTube. Uh, for those of you on the radio, you have to go to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash James Hershey Jr. Shameless plug, number one. And you can watch the video of the show. And you can actually see on your screen the photographs that I'm going to be describing to the radio audience. So uh, I think let's do that now. We'll go ahead and look at those screenshots and I'll kind of give you a little information about them and what they are, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so the first screenshot here, uh, these are all from from Taylor Swift's videos. The first one shows her walking by a, a ritual that's taking place, a magical ritual, and she ends up kind of dancing around with them and everything like that. This second picture is a screenshot from another video, and in this video, she is walking by. She's got like a Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz vibe going on. And she's kind of walking by uh, like three Grim Reapers that are dressed all in red. Okay, this last photograph is a screenshot from one of her videos. And she is literally dressed as the devil. <laughs> she has like uh, the devil mask on. And there's a bunch of people dancing around her. Okay, so as you saw in those screenshots from her own videos, those are not very Christian-like, okay? Performing rituals, doing magic, the devil mask, especially. The Grim Reaper is just kind of a little, you know, horror theme. It's not really all that bad, but they are dressed all in red, and a lot of these celebrity idiots are having this thing about all red now being demonic. And putting on shows where they have everybody dressing in red and they're dressed as the devil. We all know that 
there's a lot of ritual stuff that goes on in these kind of performances. Okay. So it's not a stretch to say that it's not conspiracy land. It's not cuckoo land to say that a lot of these musicians and, and rappers and, and actresses and actors and all these people in Hollywood, a lot of them are involved in occult practices. Let's put it that way. Uh, some of them downright satanic. I mean, you had all kinds of people, massive amounts of rappers. You've had uh, like Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, a bunch of them come out and flat out say in interviews that they sold their soul to Satan to, to make it in the music business. They have literally said it. I could play you a montage here, but I guarantee you that's going to get somebody in trouble because that's got to be copywritten somewhere. Okay, but you can look it up on YouTube or wherever you want to go. You can find the videos very easily of a lot of these people saying that they sold their soul to the devil in order to make it in music. Okay? Now, you don't have Taylor Swift saying that on, on camera anywhere that I've ever seen or heard of. But you do have questionable lyrics. You do have questionable things in her videos. Okay? Does that mean that she's a devil worshiper? Does that mean that she is doing satanic rituals and magical rituals at her concerts on her, on her audience. Is that what that means? Not necessarily. It, it could be. I'm not discounting it. It absolutely could be. I wouldn't say that that's out of the realm of possibility because a lot of these people in the music business do this kind of stuff. Okay? It's kind of well known that if you want to reach that mega star superstar status you kind of got to get in with with the illuminati people you kind of got to get in with the devil worshiping and kind of sell your soul in order to get there okay that's kind of the known narrative now whether that's true or not or whether it's all hype who knows really man i'm not there you know i i'm not there to to witness them doing the the rituals to witness them making deals i'm not there but when they all say it, they're all admitting it, plain and day on, plain as day on on camera. They're all saying we sold our soul to the devil. I'm inclined to to say, okay, if if you are saying that you sold your soul, then I have no reason to doubt you that you think you sold your soul to the devil. Now, if it's all a PR thing, a marketing thing, then that's on them, man. I would say it's not a very smart thing to do to joke about that or to, to make a, a marketing thing about that to where it adds a cool factor to you or you're trying to do it to get attention or to sell records or whatever I don't think that's smart I mean you're not supposed to to mock God like that you know that's not funny that's they're gonna they're gonna end up paying for that in the end you know but I'm not gonna doubt them if they're telling us that they're doing this Sometimes when these people do things right in front of your face and they tell you straight to your face that they are demonic, that they are worshiping Satan, that they are doing rituals, when they're telling you flat out, sometimes you got to listen. Now, Taylor Swift is not telling us flat out that she's doing that. I want to make that clear. Uh, but some of the other people in the music industry absolutely are. They've 100% said it, that they're doing it. So is Taylor doing it, or is this all just a tongue-in-cheek kind of thing that she does? I don't know. Something happened. Why would all those people make that up? People that don't know each other. Okay, I don't understand why within seconds of each other all these people would come out and say this on Twitter and everything. Why? If it didn't happen. Something happened to them. To where they don't remember part of the concert. Could it be that they were drugged? It would explain it on a single person basis. But what are the odds that that many people were drugged independently of each other. In separate parts of the audience. And people that didn't know each other. What are the odds that that many people were drugged? Probably not very good. So I would say that's probably not the answer. Um, I don't think they're making it up because why would they? You know, I mean, I understand old boy's going to say, because he always says this, he's going to say, well, a lot of people do that stuff just to get famous. 
Okay, I understand that. If it was a single person or a couple people that knew each other coming out and saying, oh, you wouldn't believe what happened, right? Okay, I get that. Maybe they're doing it just to be famous. But when you have multiple people in the audience that don't know each other saying the same thing within seconds of each other, how how is it made up? doesn't make sense. Something happened. Was it some kind of magical ritual? If you watch the show, I mean, it looks like it. I mean, she's definitely putting forth devil imagery and doing things that are at least giving the appearance of being occult rituals on stage. So, once again, if they're doing it right in front of your face and they're showing you and they're telling you, why do you not believe it? You see, you see what I'm saying? It'd be different if she went up there and just did a normal show and there was no demonic imagery, there was no devil mass, there was no ritual dancing, there was none of that kind of stuff going on. And you could say, ah, oh, come on, James, that's BS, man. She didn't do nothing. She went up there in a little farmer's daughter outfit and just sang a song. And there was nothing to it. But that's not what we have here. In this latest tour, she's doing some dark stuff. And it has a lot of demonic imagery in it. Now, is it actual occult practices? Who knows? I would say possibly. You know, I'm not going to say that she's not doing that. Because it looks like she's doing that. And when somebody's doing it right in front of your face, what are you going to think, right? But I'm also not going to come out and say 100% yes, she's absolutely doing uh, magical rituals on her audience. Because I don't know. You know, it could be just BS. But I don't know about that. A lot of these people that a lot of you worship are pretty damn evil. And I would say that once you kind of look into it and see them saying with their own mouth that they sold their soul to Satan, and if you continually follow them and you continually consume what they're putting out, you are opening doorways into your own life. You are allowing things to come into your life and to attach to you through that music. And you can say that's crazy all you want, but I've seen it. Okay, I do this for a living, guys. I, I work demonic cases. I cast out demons. I go and do this and help people for a living. And I'm telling you that there's a lot of things that you do in your life that open up doorways that allow these demonic entities into your life and allow them to attach to you. You are essentially giving them permission. And if you are knowingly consuming something like that, that, that is a, overtly demonic or overtly at least occult, right? You are opening a doorway. I would say at the very least, even let's say that that she absolutely is not doing any kind of magical ritual at all, okay? Let's say that this is just a kind of tongue-in-cheek kind of thing that she's doing just to get attention and to make people be like, oh, what the hell is wrong with her, right? Let's say that's the case. And there's no demonic worship, there's no magical rituals, there's nothing like that happening. Okay, let's assume that. Even if that's the case, this is not something that you want your children exposed to okay whether she's actually worshiping or not she is putting forth demonic imagery and a lot of kids listen to this stuff okay and they're going to emulate that that's what children do children and teenagers and young adults they will copycat stuff they see an artist that they really like a musician and they say wow they're so cool so then they model themselves after that Okay, so when you have somebody like Taylor Swift who has a lot of appeal to younger girls, if you have somebody like that who is portraying demonic imagery and occult practices, those children who are very susceptible are going to be watching this and they're going to be copying this. So they're going to be doing damage to themselves. They're going to be opening up doorways, allowing demonic entities in, they're going to be hurting themselves because of this, okay? 
So I would say whether she is actually doing it or not doesn't really matter. Because the problem is she is putting forth the image that she is. And like I said, her fans, which are mostly young girls and teenage girls, young adults, are going to emulate that behavior in their own lives. They are going to begin worshiping like that. They are going to begin opening those doorways in their own lives. And there's going to be people that are going to have their lives ruined because of this. Because that's what demons do. And you can say that it's melodramatic. It's not a big deal. It's just a video. It's just a show. It, that I'm being stupid. I get it. If that's what you want to say, I understand. And I don't have nothing against you for it. I love you. But I'm telling you, as somebody who does this for a living, I am a pastor. I do cast out demons. I do exorcisms. I work these cases. That's real. Okay? This isn't something I do for the YouTube channel. This is what I do in life. Okay? I don't even get paid for it. If that makes makes any difference to you. If that makes you understand, I don't charge anything to do what I do. I go to these houses and I help these people for free. On my dime. I waste my gas, my time, to go and help them. Okay, so that tells you I'm not doing this for money. I'm not doing it to make a profit. Hell, even here on the YouTube channel, most of these shows don't even run a whole lot of ads or anything. Because I intentionally cut off a lot of those ads so that Every two seconds, you're not getting a damn ad on the show. This isn't about money. This is about getting the information out. This is about doing the right thing, and this is about helping people. So when I tell you that this is a problem, understand where I'm coming from. Understand that I know what I'm talking about, because this is what I do. Okay, you could disagree with me. That's fine. That's your choice. But... Don't discount what I'm saying as make-believe or fantasy land. Because I'm here to tell you it's absolutely not. God does exist. The devil does exist. Demons do exist. And they hate you. Demons hate you more than you could ever imagine. Their only desire is to destroy you. All they want is to separate you from God. So that you burn right alongside of them. That's what it's all about, guys. See, people think they can make deals. People think that they can sell their soul in order for, to get rich and to get famous and all this kind of stuff. Well, you might get those results here on earth. Uh, but we're only here a short time. Tiny. Tiny little bit of time. For the rest of eternity, you're going to be around. After you die and you leave this place, you're going to go one of two places. If you're saved, you're going to heaven. If you're not, you're going to hell. And you will burn for all eternity. That is what the demons want. They want to create that separation between you and God. They want you to lose that eternal battle and end up burning with them because they hate you. And they hate you because God chose you over them. You are his favorite creation. God loves you more than you can ever imagine. That's why Jesus died on the cross for you so that you could go to heaven even though you don't deserve it, even though you're a sinner. All you got to do is accept that gift. It's that easy. Demons, they don't like that. They hate you, and they want to destroy you. Now, can you actually sell your soul? No, you can't. Your soul belongs to God. You can't sell it. Now, you can throw it away. Right? You can make the decision to not follow God, to not accept Jesus' death on the cross and become saved. You can make that choice and go to hell. Right, You can do that. But the, the demons and, and Lucifer, they never actually take possession 
of your soul. They don't own it, right? You can't sell it to them for any kind of material gains. What they're basically doing is bribing you with material things to not follow God. And then you make that choice to go to hell by not accepting Jesus Christ, right? So you can't actually sell it, but you can throw it away, basically. That's what's going on with a lot, a lot of people in the music business. They're making that choice in order to become famous and become rich. And it's gotten to a point to where if you want to make it to that really high, high level in music and acting and a lot of different fields now in entertainment, you have to do that. You have to go along with that agenda. You have to to say the right things. You have to to put that out there publicly as this is what you believe. You have to do that kind of imagery. Even if you don't want to. You know, like Katy Perry was a Christian singer. And she tried to make it in the music business as a Christian singer, and she couldn't. And she had, she said herself in an interview that she sold her soul to make it in music. Plain and simple. You know, you've got her saying it, you've got Gaga has said it, you've got so many damn rappers, I can't even keep count, that have literally flat out said, I sold my soul to the devil to make it in music. Those words, they're telling you. You can think, I'm just some old crazy redneck. That's okay. I don't mind if you think that. That's up to you. Anybody who's watched this show for any length of time knows that's BS. They know it's not true. They know who I am. They know what I've done. I'm not a stupid person. Okay, I'm, I'm not somebody who who believes fairy tales very easily. I, I Every one of these shows we've ever done, I lay out the evidence for you. I give you the information to make up your own mind every single time. You get to see the evidence just like I see the evidence. And it's up to you to, to choose what you believe. Now, let's answer the question really quickly. What do I, what do I believe about it? Do I think that... Taylor Swift is casting spells on her audience. The answer to that is maybe. That's a terrible answer. I understand that. I would say maybe trending towards yes, actually. And I know that sounds crazy, but she's got the imagery. You know what I mean? She's if you if you watch the show, it sure as hell looks like a ritual. What else could it be? At the very least, she's putting out that imagery, which is hurting people. So it's not good, you know, in my view. And I would say if you're a parent and you've got a little kid or a teenage kid, why are, why are they listening to this stuff? Why do you let them listen to it? If they are overtly showing demonic imagery, how is that good? This, this world has got crazy. You know, this, this society we live in now is, is upside down, where evil is celebrated as good and good is celebrated as evil. That makes no sense. People look at evil things and they think, oh, that's awesome, that's cool. How's it cool? It is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It's cool to burn in hell for all eternity. That somehow makes you a badass. You ain't going to be a badass when you're burning. You're going to be crying like a little bitch. Begging for mercy. But it was your choice. Tell me then how cool you are. You won't be. That's my view on it. Y'all can think what you want. I love you either way. And I'm not trying to hurt nobody. I'm not trying to insult nobody. I'm just telling you like it is. Like I always do. I've told you before and I'll tell you every time. I will tell you the truth, whether you like it or not. When you watch my shows, you're going to get the truth from me, the way I see it. And you can disagree. That's 100% cool. I still love you. I'm going to throw over to old boy. See what he thinks.
Oh, boy. I'm sure it'll be way different than what I think. Go ahead, brother. Thank you, brother. So I'm going to tell you my opinion on this. Taylor Swift thing and other conspiracies and phony baloney shit. And I'm not saying all of it. Some of it may be true, but some of it's bullshit. Um, but is people, and especially in the music industry, do they sell their souls or use witchcraft? And just so no, everybody knows, I, I don't really want to talk about this because of the witchcraft thing, because not all people who practice Wicca and paganism are bad people. Witchcraft, like again, there's everybody says there's a left and a right. It matters what you do with it. And I know other religions are not going to care and say it's evil one way or another. That's fine. That's your belief. Fine. I don't care. That's your. That's what you believe. But do I believe that certain entertainers use certain powers from demons, entities, gods? Um. Yes, maybe. They pray to them just like you pray to your gods. Your god, uh, whatever god you believe in. I'm not I, I'm not going to go to specifics of which uh, religion, but any of anybody, whatever you believe in, if you're praying to them, you're asking them for certain things. Hmm. But do you know, people do it selling their souls? Um, you know... Is there evil in music in the in entertainment? Yes, there probably is in movies and 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 I have a point of view about evil. Um, altogether, but yes, I think there's 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 a certain set of people that I'm not going to talk about that are doing certain things, but I also believe. There's other sets of people who are claiming they're good people and they're not also. And I know this for a fact. But I'll just leave it to this way. You People have their own conceptions of what good and evil is. Now, there's people who said they went to Taylor Swift concert. And I read this as a conspiracy theory because I've read more about this. And a lot of this is... And I hate to tell you, say this is a lot of con Christian conspiracy theories. I've looked it up, and it's a guy who said it. There's people who said they went to con uh, her concert and they felt different and they were under a spell. And then there's people who went to the same concert and said they're full of shit and they didn't feel anything. And I I seen the other side of it too. He, that he's I seen the interview. He's also had those people talking about this, and I've also read about it on different channels and stuff like that, and what the truth was. Now, I'm not saying they're wrong. There may be something going on, because we all know Taylor Swift isn't the biggest uh, religious person in the world, you know. Uh, there's a lot of Christians who think she's evil and does witchcraft, and she says she's a witch or whatever. That's fine. I also know that I've read stuff that she does stuff for purpose to mock Christianity sometimes because of this stuff. And she, I, a lot of people do this to make, they know this, it, it, trust me, she knows this conspiracy theory is going. They may be right. They may have something, you know, in the Bible it says the devil was a god, uh, and uh, that, I'm uh, sorry, the devil was uh, the angel of music, some people think. So it's a possibility. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm not going to sit here and say they're lying and they're wrong. I just am not going to go off of certain people. Because certain people like to say things that get famous and say things happen. But there's other people said they went to the same concert nothing happened to them. So, And that's 90% of the people there. So, again, I was reading a lot of the comments. And, it, again, it's a bunch of conspiracy theories. Now, I'm not saying they're wrong. I just... I'm going to get into this. We're going to, this is just the one part of it. And again, I'm not going to say that no one does. There's people who do use the left side to do certain things. And I'm not going to say that hasn't happened. It has. There is some very wicked people out there.
and they have done certain things and sold themselves for certain pleasures and certain powers. That's true. I ain't gonna lie about that. That's that's just straight up true. Um, the whole Taylor Swift thing, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I don't fall into this stuff, man. Like. It wouldn't matter if she did or didn't. People are going to say who she is. And they do it with everything, with all kinds of music. Um, you remember you used to play Ozzy's record back backwards, and it said, it said, Worship the Devil. And uh, they did it with other records, like Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. If you play it backwards, it says something about the devil. And Kiss's albums, and a couple of Quiet Riots, and they all said the same thing. It's Worship the Devil and all this crap. And that was in the 80s. They did the same shit. Um, fucking Ozzy bit a bat off. And, and, and he, he really did. But he thought it was a rubber bat. He talked about that. And people said, oh, he's worshiping the devil. And he basically admitted it was a dead bat. I guess the bat was thrown up there and it was knocked out or something. And he said he bit it and there was blood everywhere. Come to find out he thought it was a fake bat. And it was a, it was a real bat. And he admitted it. Now, is he telling the truth? I don't know. It's what he's saying. I, 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 of course, people are going to argue it, whatever. Certain people are going to think a certain way, and certain other people are going to think you're crazy. And it goes both ways. I'm just not going to sit there and argue it. But this stuff has been going on forever. Alice Cooper was evil. Al, uh, who else was a Kiss? Um, Ozzy. You know... They think play, talking to ghosts and demons is evil. That's what the funny thing is. Um, and that's, 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 that's a whole other story. We could do another show about that. But do I think see people in music, uh, Hollywood, I think Hollywood, that's true. I, I believe that to a point. There's a certain group of people who do things. And I think they're involved with the entertainment also and sports and music. And I think they're all bundled in one. Um, I don't know about Taylor Swift. I know that she does certain things in her concert that I think she does for purpose. So she gets a row out of Christians and Catholics. And I'm not saying that she's doing it, she, that she's doing spells on, on, you know, she, maybe she is, but I think she does mock Christians. Maybe it's not the best idea because you know, it's causing a lot of trouble for herself, but it really hasn't because she's like the number one selling record, uh, I think music, mis mis uh, artist, sorry, artist, like in the last eight years, what I've been reading. So it's not really working, guys. Um, now the Britney Spears thing, this, this is the whole A, maybe because I, we did a little short story about Britney Spears. She has been acting very different, but you got to remember she was under control of her dad and won that lawsuit. And now she's, I read that she's getting a divorce with her husband. I think some things happened to her. I, I, I don't know if she's on, I know she looks like she's on medication or some kind of drugs. And I don't want to say that it, it just, she's lost a lot of weight and she's doing a lot of crazy stuff on Instagram. But again, she was going through stuff. You know, a lot of these child actors and singers, a lot of bad things happened to them. And I will say that. And that's a shame that that was going on. Because, you know, like some of my favorite actors, like Corey Philman and stuff, they, you know, we all know what happened. And, you know, Corey Hames and a lot of bad things happened. So I do believe that there's possibly something happened to Britney Spears. And I think that has to do with the industry. <laughs> I think people were taking advantage of people when in the 90s and 80s and even up to like the, the last 67 years. You ever seen some of the shows that some of these guys said they played in concerts? They've seen some of the most disgusting things they've ever seen after shows. Uh, and I don't want to get into it. Oh, well, I can. Now, like women and, and men and, and mothers and daughters, and that's as far as I'm going to go. And... You know, there's a lot of weird shit that's happened in Hollywood. I won't deny that. There, There is people who were doing a lot of uh, witchcraft and satanic rituals. And, you know, but some of the Taylor Swift, like, I read that is she possessed by a demon or in the Illuminati. You know, that Illuminati thing might be a little true to a point. Not a clone. Um, And, and the other one was 
the I, I'm trying to Zia Lefay Anton Lefay's daughter reincarnated. <laughs> I heard that was a conspiracy theory. Um, no, she kind of does look like her, but I, I I no. See, this is the the shit that I'm talking about right here. This is the, some of the stuff that I've read. I actually read into the, some of this stuff, guys. Guys, and this is the, some of the stupid shit that people are saying. And I'm not saying all of it's wrong. I'm just saying it, you know, and if you get offended, oh, well, like, look up stuff before you just assume. This is what I'm saying. It doesn't matter if you have the truth. They're not going to care. People are still going to think whatever you want. And I can relate to this because I've had idiots, you know, saying this is King Bell, the demon. It's not. It's my daughter's name, initial Bells. But some idiot actually thought that's what it meant. And... It's my daughter's name. And I've had it. And she also said I was a reptilian demon. It's it just. I understand this because I've had it happen a couple times. You know, I know that you. I'm a Satanist. or a pagan Satanist. Whatever you want to say I am. I know you probably think I sit at home and I, when the lights go out, I'm praising the devil and I sacrifice cats and you know do all kinds of which which where should I don't actually you're very wrong um I, and Anton LaVey and that's a show I want to do eventually he did a lot of stuff back then because I think he he was very flashy he was he and I'm not he he was who he was but I, I think he did a lot of stuff to get aroused off of Christians because he liked to piss them off. And that's what the satanic religion mostly is, is, is alternate Christianity. They like to piss Christians off. And I and he had a lot of over-the-top stuff that they were doing. And I'm not saying it was wrong or nothing, but, you know, I, I don't do that. So, you know, that's a whole... And, and, and Lester Crowley, that's another one I want to do. Um, you know, he was... He was in the church. He was in the Golden Dawn. He quit. He got tired of their shit. And I'm not saying anything wrong with the church. So just so you know that, that's, I have no issues with anybody's belief, but he just started doing his own religion and made uh, a lot of crazy stuff after that. Put sex and magic together and all kind. you know, and it, you know, Led Zeppelin bought his house and his house was supposed to be haunted and... I've heard, you know, the uh, Crowley House and stuff there in Scotland. There's a lot of stuff about him. Um, but now, again, with the Britney Spears thing, I think there's some stuff going on there. And and I know a lot of her, she sued her dad over money and stuff like that. So I think that's a whole nother story. And again, there's conspiracy, but she has been acting like, you know, that basketball player. And the reason I know that, because I'm a Spurs fan. Wamba, uh, the, the one that just got drafted, Wamba, Wambi, Wambi, I think his name, Victor Wamba Yama, I think that's how you say his name, and she said that his security guard slapped him, slapped her, well, they saw it, what happened was that she went and grabbed him, and he had a bunch of people around, his security pushed her away, and she slapped herself in the face, and they didn't press charges, but she went around saying he hit her, and the security guard actually tried to apologize, but to come to find out, it wasn't him. It was her slapping her face, hand, slapping her face accidentally. So they they did it, but a lot of people were pissed off and they were attacking Wamba, Wambi, and I'm just saying that for short. And I'm a Spurs fan, so he's one. Of, he, he, I'm so happy we got him because trust me, he's like one of the biggest uh, draft picks in the last twenty something years since LeBron. So I'm happy, but you know, there's a lot of things there, and I'll get into the rest of the stuff in a minute. So, but I do believe there's certain people over time has thought or did sell themselves or they're doing bad things to people and that's not just in Wiccan and you know in in um satanic beliefs and black magic uh, people used to do that in you know shamans that uh skinwalkers guys they went bad it wasn't just <laughs> there's people who use magic for bad and good but that people just think it's evil altogether. And I get it. That's your, some people's beliefs say that. And I'm not going to sit here and say you're an idiot. I know it does. I, I know me and James have had the conversation. I have my opinions, but you're not an idiot. You believe what you're going to believe. And that's fine. And I'm not 
it's why I'm not trying to get it to a religious thing. And I'm, 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 I'm think about it, guys. I'm not, re I'm not a Christian. So trust me, I'm not, I'm, tr I'm, I'm actually giving them a compliment. So no one can say, oh yeah, he's no, I'm not attacking anybody, but this is, everything in the end is going to talk about a little bit of religion, guys. It's just going to happen. It just, that's how it goes. Um, but no, um, I do believe there is some stuff been going on through a long time. And, you know, the, you know, people said it, there were secret organizations of the, uh, uh, you know, the, of, of certain Congress people and famous people in 18 and 1700s would meet up and, you know, they say stuff about those organizations. I'm not going to bring them up. There's no point. You guys pretty much know who they are. Um, but I have been accused of stuff and, you know, do your homework. Don't be an idiot. I've had a couple people think that. They've, there's people accuse James of being, you know, a right-wing racist. And, 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 you know what? Whatever you want to think. They, they, they say me, too. I'm a left-wing. I, 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 I wrote a thing the other day. Please don't put politics and, and all this stuff on my thing. And then some ladies all, some snowflake didn't was complaining because I didn't want to, I put something about Trump. I, I don't, like I said, I don't even want to go there, but it has nothing to do with what I believe. I don't want a freaking war on my fucking page. I don't care what people will have nothing better to do to fight over that. And that's one of the biggest things will start fights. And I'm not saying I just deleted. She got pissed off and said all kinds of shit. This is, and I'm not attacking anybody what they vote or what they do, but it, you go put it on your own fucking profile. I, I said, Blatantly, please don't put anything religious or any kind of politics. And she didn't fucking listen. So I deleted her dumbass and blocked her. She was a fucking idiot. I've had people, oh, James is, sounds like this and sounds uh, uh, like Alex Jones. I fucking deleted him. He does not sound like Alex Jones. That's a whole nother fucking thing I don't even want to talk about. That's that's another idiot. Um and I know there's probably people like him, and I'm sorry. That's your opinion. Go ahead, like who you're one. That you're gonna hate me. I better get in fucking line. I, people hate us. They, you know, <laughs> we're not making no friends here. They either love us or you fucking hate us. So it is what it is. That's how we are. Me and James have we piss people off sometimes. This whole Taylor Swift thing, it, it's it's conspiracy theories. It's not a hundred percent fact. They're making fun of people about this on CNN and Fox and all this, you know, Fox is saying different. And I've seen it on NBC and I've seen it on Yahoo. They're laughing. It's, it's, it's your opinion, whatever you want to believe. TikTok is so and showing so much bullshit on conspiracy theories and everything I see every fucking minute. It's this and, oh, there's demons and, and, and there's a dragon, and it's a fucking picture from a movie, and uh, the giants, and it's another thing from a movie that people are pretending, or it has a vampire, or some Van Helsing climbing on the walls, and they're saying they're vampire. Dude, 90% of this shit's bullshit on fucking TikTok, and fucking Instagram, all this shit that you're reading is not 100% true, and I'm not saying they're lying, it's just, it's missing information. Um, some of it is real. Like some of the Bigfoot pictures and UFO stuff, I believe that. Even some of that that dragon shit that I saw with the dragons fucking in the water, that shit's crazy. Um, it's just people believe a certain way. And the sad thing is they've been believing this way for years. And I've been hearing how this is going to happen and that's going to happen. And now it's been 45 years and I've been hearing the same shit. And it's not. And I'm not saying it will, but it, it, it's just there's a lot of crazy shit going on. I will say that. But it's, there's always have. You're just seeing it because we have fucking video cameras everywhere. It was happening beforehand. You just didn't see it all the time. The fucking Wild West was crazy. People were carrying guns, shooting each other over poker games. Or they looked at each other wrong. Fuck, dude. The Romans, the Vikings used to go and destroy people's fucking homes and kill people the mong uh uh the uh uh what's his name god in mongolia genghis khan would fucking i think he killed like 10 percent of the fucking population or 15 percent or something like that bro trust me shit was crazy 
So I, I, I laugh because this shit was going on then. Plus they had fucked up plagues worse than COVID. So, you know, and I, I just, I don't want to get off subject, but, um, I don't believe it. I, I, I believe she does do shit for purpose. So I think she likes to get arouse on people and maybe she does believe in it. Maybe she is praying to the devil or some demon. You know what? You'll be surprised. There's a lot more people you think it's on certain people's sides are doing the same thing. Trust me. Evil knows evil. Good or good knows good. Whatever you want to believe. But, but I have been accused of shit myself. So I know how this goes. I probably will forever because of the way I believe. And that's fine. Um, I just laugh about it now. It is what it is. I'm just going by my experiences. And I know other people have. Um, I know people who do do black magic and do bad things to people. And they shouldn't because there's going to be a fucking consequences. Karma does exist. And if you are doing it, I just watch what you're doing because it's coming back on you. You can believe whatever the fuck you want, but something bad's going to happen <laughs> down the line. You're going to get your payment back. Trust me. And that's me being honest with you. Um, but there's possibility on a little bit of it. I'm not going to say 100% wrong, but I think a lot of it's bullshit. Um, and I'm not trying to offend anybody. And I, I, I get it. You, 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 you believe in whatever you're going to believe in. Just like they said, Marilyn Manson was possessed by a demon. The guy was going to Catholic churches on the side at night, Sundays. Um, I think that's where I think it's really funny. So again, he's some act. And I know he's been accused of certain things. And if he did, then he's a fucking, he deserves to go to jail. Um, but that's hear or say. Um, guy was going to Catholic. I think he was going to his dad's church singing on the weekends. So, I mean... You know, and I know he believed he was in the satanic, uh, uh, the new satanic religion, uh, the, the satanic church, the new version of it for a while. I think he got out of uh, LeFay's uh, at the time uh, group, but he was in that for a while. And, you know, it is what it is. That's his business. I don't care. Um, but I'm just saying this is always happening. It's always somebody's evil. Beyonce is evil. Jay-Z's evil. And I've heard this shit. You know, and that's as far as I'm going to go on that. Because, you know, there's possibility on those ones. That, I mean, there's stuff going on there. You know, we all don't know. But it's it just seems like every time it's, it's, it's everybody's evil in the music. Not everybody is evil, guys. It's just that there's people out there who are jealous because they're not where they're at. And they think they should. Remember that. You shouldn't throw stones at glass houses. That's the last thing I'm going to say, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the show on Parax Radio every Sunday nights at 12 a.m. Monday Eastern, 9 Pacific Sunday night. It's weird. Um, also, the best of show on Tuesday nights, 8, 8, 8 p.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. Pacific time, um, PM. You guys can check us out on Spotify. You can check us out on Facebook, YouTube. There's a bunch of other stuff there is. Uh, you can check us out on, um, hopefully sooner than later on Apple. We're going to try. And iHeart. We're going to try. Um, but we are on Spotify now, guys. And then, um, I think we're on Steam Hub or something also. That's I think I'm getting if I'm getting it wrong, James will re, will fix it in the in his uh, goodbyes. But uh, you guys want merchandise? We'll tell you where to go. A lot of big things are coming, like I've been saying for a while, and there is stuff in works now, guys. So I just can't say nothing. But we'll see. You know how things go. Not gonna say 100. percent But I hope you guys enjoyed the show. We love you guys. Um, it's the middle of summer now, guys. Um, I hope you guys are enjoy it. Um, it's getting hot. Um, it's kind of cooling down a little bit in California, so I'm kind of happy about that. So, um, if you guys want to follow us on YouTube, subscribe to James Hershey's YouTube page. I hope you have a good night, Misfits, Sugar Ladies, Monster Lovers, and Demon Hunters. I love you, and blessed be, and have a good night. Thank you, brother. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this show. I hope you learned something. Let me know down in the comments section when this hits YouTube what you guys think. Do you think that Taylor Swift is casting spells on her audience? you think it's a bunch of BS? 
Do you think that there's something going on, but you're not quite sure? Let me know down in the comment section. I'd like to hear it. As always, it's up to you to make up your own mind. Now for the shameless plugs. The YouTube channel is youtube.com slash James Hershey Jr. On that channel is where everything is. You got every episode of Staring. You got every episode of Tales. You got every episode of Paranormal News. Every episode now of Conspiracy Corner, which is a new thing I'm doing, a new series I started dealing with a lot of these conspiracy kind of things. And it's kind of an interesting little show. 100% free. All you have to do is go there and watch the videos. Never cost you anything. Um, there's thousands of videos there. So there's tons of stuff to watch, tons of interesting shows. We've done everything under the sun, man. We've, we've handled everything from, like, flat earth and hollow earth kind of theories to all, every kind of monster you can think of, every kind of cryptid, demons, ghosts, I mean, all kinds of stuff. There's tons of cool stuff there. Every show is packed full of information so that you can make up your own mind about it and see what you think. So I think it's a worthwhile thing to check out. Please go subscribe to the channel and watch to your heart's content. They're all free for you. The merchandise store, if you want merch, is in the description box of every video on YouTube. So just go to the description box and you'll find a link to the merch store. And you can go there and get whatever you want. There's like t-shirts and there's like towels and all kinds of stuff, man. Everything you can think of that has the staring logo on it, it uh, Tails logo. There's all kinds of different horror themed kind of designs and stuff that's really cool so the prices are really good the quality is really good and there's some really cool stuff there so if you're into merch and you want to support us that way and wear some staring merch that's where you can do it i appreciate you guys i love you thank you for watching thank you for supporting us thank you for commenting thank you for even disagreeing with us sometimes uh, i appreciate that 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 you care enough to say something you know and like I said, and I always say, it's up to you to make up your own mind. I'll catch you on the next one. Till I speak to you again. Love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye.